What's going on, guys? Welcome to the... <sighs> you know what it is. You know what we've done. It gives you your entry back if you... You get your stuff back before the draft starts. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay. That was not a risk I wanted to take, but it's not a really big deal. Uh, we're not taking Jota because it's not great limited. <laughs> Probably take one of these two bad boys. Yeah. What up, Kellen? Good to see you, buddy. I don't care anymore. It's probably Wizards Lightning, right? Swifty Gamers, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Eye Brood. I feel like it's Wizards Lightning. All right, well, oh, and we get past the Fire Fisted up and a second Wizards Lightning and an Evra and a Fiery. Oh, this pack is bonkers. I think Adept is probably better than Wizards Lightning number two because Wizards. Jota, oh my goodness. Is Jota a Wizard? If Jota comes back, I might take it. It's got to be a Wizard, right? Yeah, it's a human Wizard. It goes in the wizard deck. Is it double wizard's lightning or is it fire fist adept? This is always good. This could be great. It's probably wizard's lightning number two. Let's be real here. Oh, on Sarah's wings. Now we don't even have to take blue cards. We can just take on Sarah's wings. He's an archmage. You better be a wizard. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're doing really poorly at your job if you're not a wizard and you're the archmage. I'm going to take this on Sarah's wings. I was going for uh, red-blue, but now I'm going for red-white. I like Joyer's Familiar more than I like Avon Sentry. So I'm going to take that. Eviscerate. That's pretty strong. It could just eviscerate this on Sarah's Wings pick. I like it's significantly better than like Bloodstone Goblin or anything else in this pack. So we'll take the Eviscerate and see what happens. Well, look at Ian's reproach. All right. Well, you're not making it easy for me, Magic Online. And now there's nothing. Memorial to Folly is an option. Rona is an option. It's probably just Kelton Warlord here. Well, that dried up quickly. I don't care anymore. Great. Reasonable if we get like a uh, what's his name? Man, a deep freeze. Our white is is pretty good. I don't think it's worth taking the deep freeze. Short sword's just fine. I'll take a short sword. All right. Well, I'm not. Oh, actually, Sergeant Arms is great. All right. That's a lot of late deep freezes. Warcaller over Dub is Dub. I don't like Dub at all. I think Dub is pretty bad. Um, I think there's better cards in these colors. I also I, we also already have an on Sarah's wings, and it's very easy to get a short sword. And I think Frenzied Rage is better than Dub because it's more it's more evasive. Um, and I'd rather have a two drop in this format. It's just a two two. And if we put a short sword on it's a three. I'd rather have guys. I'd rather have a two drop because we have no two drops. And I think at that point we had literally one creature in the deck. So yeah, I don't think Dub is that great. Oh, all right. These actually, these late picks invoke Guardians and uh, and Sergeant were all pretty good. I think Deep Freeze is solid removal in most decks. There's a lot of creatures who just want to want to blank. I mean, even if you put on a guy and then they just block your guy with it, or they uh, 
it dies to your blocked guy. Like, it's all fine. Like, it still got rid of a guy. It may be a little slower, but it's it gets... <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Probably fire intervention here. Yeah, definitely fire intervention here. All right. If you're to say you're not fond of Warcrawler means you're not fond of two twos for two, which means you should probably not be drafting. Uh, see, and right here I'm going to take this Clifftop Retreat because it's better fixing. Wild Onslaught's great. This is like a third Rona we've seen. That way the YouTube comments can't be like, God, you must hate fixing in two-color Dominaria draft. I think our deck needs some beef. Where's the beef? I think we got a lot of great cards, though. Reproach, Double Lightning, Intervention, On Sarah's Wings, Triple Lightning. Adelie's is great. I wish we were the... Uh... Yeah, we'll just Triple Lightning it, I guess. Wish we were the blue-red deck, but... Wow. 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 It's probably like I like I said, I'd rather have Frenzied Rage over dub. Um I also think being a knight is mostly irrelevant. But short sword might be better than both of them. Short sword number two. It also triggers... I'm not going to play two Frenzied Rage, but I might play two, two Short Swords. We have five creatures. Where are my creatures at? I'm not going to take... I'm not going to play a second Guardian. I would play one Adamant Will. I want to take the Weight of Memory, because maybe we're blue. We could splash, like, on Sarah's Wings or Evoke or Gideon's Approach off of the clifftop in, like, a Plains. But if the Adelies comes... Like, this is just... I think this is significantly better than an Adamant Will. I think it's worth taking. But if we get, like, uh, the Adelies comes back, I think we're, we're in pretty good shape. Oh, another Sergeant. Banalish Honor Guard and Bodyguard are not great. Thank God we have a third pack after this. Actually, I totally forgot we had a third pack. I think it's Sergeant. I think Sergeant is better than the the Talarian Scholar by a long shot. So, <sighs> Jousting Lance got a Snapper here, which is great with a uh, an on Sarah's wings. Oh man, that's actually pretty sweet. How is a 2-1 for one not great? It just doesn't do anything. The value is good, but it doesn't mean it has an effect. Let's go Lance. I don't need a third sergeant. I will take a snapper, though. At this point, I'm like, whatever. I'll just take the stupid snapper. I don't want a third sergeant. Deep Freeze is also good, but we are pretty well on removal. Whatever, I'll take this stupid bird. Its text is pretty irrelevant, yes. I've never had his, its text be relevant and limited. Whatever, I'll take the Rona. Doesn't matter, I don't care. This draft is very strange. Like, I don't feel like I'm being cut, but I also don't feel like we... Like, the car, the pack... We just didn't open very good packs. Alright, well... Still nothing. <laughs> still nothing... All right, we're going 45 draft strong, guys. Not a single Lyra, Teferi, or Karn. 45 draft strong. That seems unreal. Like, when I say it out loud, it sounds unreal to me. Um, sure. 
probably not blood tallow candling with this much removal in the deck. All right, now we're talking. Call the cavalry. I can't see us playing weight of memory or this guy. Danitha, all right. Now we're getting somewhere. This is the pack, guys. This is the pack that does it. We can also take Skittering Surveyor and splash an island for the snapper just because it's so good with Aunt Sarah's Wings. I'm saying splashing a cold water snapper seems hilarious, but it's very, very good. It's also good with... In case you're dead, what happened? I mean, I'm not taking Scurveyor over Dan. Oh, and Sarah's Wings number dose. Case, GPs are exhausting, buddy. I feel like you should know that. I feel like it's second on Sarah's Wings, right? That seems significantly better, and we can also take out this Rage. This pack is pretty poop. I could take this, but I have no other wizards, so. And by Valcuts, I think you mean Valducks, because Valcuts a land, so. Whatever, it's this guy just in case. There's nothing else in this pack that I really care about. Wow, second Eviscerate. Just casual second Eviscerate. We'll take the Cyclops because we don't have anything else. And actually putting on Sarah's Wings on a Cyclops is pretty good because uh, it kind of negates the blocking claws. Knowing when to switch from the colors you're in is actually very hard because you're going to have to let go of several picks. Splash, double eviscerate. You maniac. I mean, we just don't need it, I don't think. We have triple lightning, Gideon's reproach, fire intervention. Like, we have good removal. And we have shivan fire. Like, I think we're okay. I'll take a run amok. Jarman, thank you so much for the four months in a row, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is 23 cards. I guess this is what we're playing right now. 511. Hey, Frank, I have some brapples. I'm visiting Florida in a couple weeks, and the first thing I'm doing is grocery shopping. I have any recommendations for when I visit the Nations of Super? Uh, yeah, get a sub. Get a pub public sub. I'll take a memorial. Whatever. Did that message send? Which one? I read the one. I read your feel bad choices. And the, yeah, I mean, I read it, didn't I? Unless there was another one. You guys don't think Gideon's Reproach is a good removal spell? Four damage to any attacker or blocker? Interesting. I'm intrigued by these, uh, these claims that you guys are making. Actually, you are. Public Ski Line Pie is also good. I agree with that as well. I support all decisions that have been suggested. Do I just want to fire elemental in my deck? It seems bad. I'll take it because that's where we're at right now, but I don't like it. Hey, Lava Runner. Not good. Snapper number dose. I wish that Skittering Surveyor came back. I would play that over this guy 100% of the time. And then I'd fit this Cold Water Snapper in my deck. I don't care anymore. Oh, you were just making the, the goal 11-11. I like it. I like where your head's at. This deck has a lot of good cards in it. Double Sarah's Wings, Double Wizard's Lightning. But I don't know if it's I don't think it's very good. So that's interesting. You just round it up to weird numbers. I like it. I'm a fan. 
So this is like 12 creatures with Call the Cavalry. It's not terrible, but they're not great creatures is the problem. This deck came 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 together really oddly. Returning a historic card just doesn't matter really with this guy. I guess we could return it on Sarah's wings <laughs> to just put it on him or something. I have a lot of regret for having this cold water snapper in the sideboard with double on Sarah's wings. That seems unbeatable in this format. On Sarah's wings. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Good luck trying to get your work done. I don't want to splash for like it's a one. We don't want any really way to profitably do that. I guess we could. It's it's easier with Clifftop Retreat. I'm really not a big fan of Journey Mage in here. We literally have... It's just a 3-2 for 3. Which is pretty doo-doo. I, I mean, cut a War Caller too. I really wouldn't be against that. But the problem is not having things to fill those gaps with, really. Alright, Case, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the Turtle in the deck. We're going to go two Islands. And then we're going to go 8, 8, and 2. So 7, 14, 16, and then we'll add the Clifftop Retreat. What a time to be alive. Journey Mage is a wizard. These are some gentle... I like having more 2 drops, though. Just because we have things like Sword and Jousting Lance. I guess we don't have any three drops though. What is going on here with this hair? Stray hair. Michael Stray hair. <laughs> that's not his name at all. You don't even watch sports. Yeah, that's true. All right, fine. That seems better. I don't care anymore. I mean, ideally these are gonna all be right here because of the one G2 journey mage. Oh, you're not gonna let me move them. Okay, that's good. Makes sense. I like that despite getting like five subs already today, it seems like my sub counter hasn't even moved. Maybe it has moved actually. It, I guess it's Twitch is having a weird time updating that. Wow, well, and then I just start chatting away. Make me feel some type of way. Seems like it was f hard to find a an opponent there. You know what? I'll keep this. We have a significant amount of red sources. Wow. Significant amount of On Sarah's Wings as well. Can we go call into On Sarah's Wings on both of the knights? Two, three, three Baneslayer Angels. Hmm. And Mountain, and we're good to go. Have they gotten greedy with the third color? Yes, they have. All right, well, we do have four lands, which is important, so. Oh, touche. You don't want two on Sarah's wings. They are legendary. Good call, sir, good call. I probably would have forgotten that, so. You saved the day, Case. Two dollars. Two I like turtles bucks for two turtles. There's only one turtle though, right? See, despite not being super threatening, I will kill that guy because I don't want to not do anything. I can't let them get too far ahead here. Dang it, red card. 
I don't care anymore. I have this 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 I think it's a Genesis song. It might be a Phil Collins song. It is a Phil Collins song. It's very good. Can you help me yell at Richard for his game one? Richard, why are you like this? Well, you think because you're a judge that you can do whatever you want all willy-nilly? You can't. You're being ridiculous. Even, even suggesting it. Oh my god. I'm going to put you in the front. That was a reasonable two for one, but it was more like a one for one because they got to land off this. But still, we get two uncontested knights now, so that's pretty good. Must be knights, as they say. That's a big, that's a big dude. We watched afterwards. He had Muldrotha versus empty-handed opponent, and just a Valduck for like what? He never played the Muldrotha. Why wouldn't he just play the six-six? Yeah, must be knights. That's what I said. I'm really tempted to just on Sarah's wings here. I guess we can play Guardians first and then on Sarah's wings. That's what I asked. <laughs> Why would you do this, Richard? That seems weird, though. It seems like almost like... Like, it seems like I must have misinterpreted what you said because that's such an odd thing to do. You know what I mean? Did he win that game? All right, well, all these creatures, like, I can Wizards Lightning you and Shivan Fire you, so long as we get the, you know, the old, uh, you did not misinterpret what I said. I'm like, no, that seems like a weird thing. That doesn't seem, okay, well, that's, that's good. Blink of an eye. Oh, I need just gets in there. Boom. Oh, they do have it. That's cute. Oh, they just tap it down and. Loses flying and then they double block it. That's good. Well, that's unfortunate. Wish I still had a red up. I could shiv and fire and take this guy out too. And then at least he's a two for three. That is unfortunate. I can't imagine a world where I don't block this trickster, so we'll do that. All right, now we're going to save the Invoke next game. All right, so six mana, red, red, red. Oh, Magic the Gathering. Always a pleasure. No dirtily artifacts or legends. All right, well, we did good. No first strike, right? All right, I'll take four. Wow. I did put mountains in the deck, right, guys? I just want to make sure. Just trying to make sure that we put the mountains in the deck. You know, I'm wondering. Yeah, of course you have a Goblin Barrage. Why wouldn't you? I don't actually know how our deck wins at this point. That was kind of our win condition, so. Did we open a Karn yet? <laughs> oh, that was cute. All right, we're just done. This is an absolute joke. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Go to hell. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh, Lord. Yep, there they are. There they are in all their glory. Okay. Um, I 
Uh, I don't think Poet's great. I mean, like, we have two on Sarah's wings. We don't need three. Like, sacking Poet, like, having Poet in your deck means if you don't draw on Sarah's wings and you draw Poet, it's just a 1-1 one, one for one. It's just terrible. I would rather have one less on Sarah's wings than have to draw Poet, play Poet, activate Poet, replay a Sarah's hope I have a creature to put a third creature to put an on Sarah's wings on. Like, I just don't think we need a third on Sarah's wings. And again, like, if we don't draw them, it's just a 1-1 one, one for one. It's absolutely terrible. Oh, uh, I don't need playsets. I actually just borrow. I have, uh, I can borrow from goat bots whenever I want. Brian, I think you know this. I think we've talked about this. Okay. We're splashing turtle for a win condition, yes. That is correct. Well, I don't know what else we'd be splashing it for. What are we going to do next game when we don't draw any planes? Uh, well, hopefully we... Well, what we're going to do then is draw all our white cards. That's literally what, what we're going to do. I was actually thinking Runamuck could be good, but I mean, like, it's all... It's all I mean, it wasn't... I don't think it was all damage-based, no. Like, they Merfolk Trickster to block our guy. Uh, yes, I will play first. Yep, that's a good one. You know what? Sure. <sighs> Bottom you. Thank you. Friendon, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. They're like, oh, you're playing red cards. Well, I'll be. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Joke's on you. Sure. Oh, okay. Wow, double islands. That's amazing. That's incredible. I like that we have Shivan Fire and Wizard's Lightning here. That's nice. That's a nice feeling. Was that a British voice he just did? Oh my god. No blocks because I can't. Sure. What a big dumb idiot. I don't care anymore. Thank you. Spam dude. Thank you so much for three months in a row. Don't get to check the stream out, but I love your YouTube content as always. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it when you guys uh, like the YouTube vids so you sub on Twitch. Like, that is awesome. Oh. That's cool. I'm having a good time. I mean... Every, like, this guy has to die, right? Everything we love. Trade? Tradesies? Okay. Alright, we're all in on this one Gitu Journey Mage, this 4-3. That will assuredly die, because it's not a hard card to deal with. And they're gonna blink it. Yeah, of course they are. Magic is a game for friends. This deck does not seem great. 
which is weird because it's got good cards in it, but it just doesn't have it doesn't have that oomph. We don't have cards that our opponents are like, oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. Sure. Well, that's three damage to their face. Put them to five Areno. I also do kind of like run amok because there's situations like this where like it's just really good. This is an interesting choice because if I can deal with one of these guys, I can just get... I guess you don't want to throw two goblins in the way because then I could just block both goblins or kill both goblins rather and then you're just losing an extra guy. I'm going to kill this now because if we draw land we're just going to play sergeant and there's no reason to take extra damage there. All right. You attack with three or more, so I only got... Oh, look. Look at that. Look at that. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures... One, two, three. Wonderful. All right. Well... I wish this dealt damage to the face. That would be amazing. Then we'd be... We'd be... We'd be good. What up, Denmark? <sighs> Funny joke. Is there a time where we just play this guy right now? Like, cool. Can't wait anymore. Sure. This is a fun match. I had a good time. I enjoyed myself. And I feel like my entertainment value was not wasted. I hope you guys feel the same. Kerwit, five lazy Monday bucks. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. How about five uh, hope for a better draft next round bucks? I'll keep this hand on the draw. I'll assume that we draw a planes <laughs> like a dummy. Here we go. It's happening. That was a good match. We played land and spell. Yeah. I think my... Uh, I think my requirements out of magic are a little higher than that. Stretching to Ugh, okay. Whew. Well, not yet. All right. <laughs> I 
Five hope for a better trip. <laughs> Kurt, you didn't actually have to donate another five dollars. That's ridiculous. Did they did they F six their turn or did they did just not have a thing to do? I actually don't know. When we were your age, we had to walk six miles through snow uphill both ways just to get our one spell. God, that sounds terrible. All right, well this is a signif this is a significantly better match. I'm having. Look at these two miserable matches. These two miserable games back to back. Do we think they have syncopate and they're just like waiting for a really good car target? Let's see if this is it. No. Okay. Well. I guess we can go to game two. <laughs> Kerwin, either way, thank you so much, man. Your support is always appreciated. You were a solid dude. I don't care what they say about you. Down at the, the old mill. Hey, that last match was more entertaining than the rest of my weekend. One of my dogs had to have a splint... Sp Splen splenectomy due to a tennis ball size to oh that sounds some I, I read it comically because I thought it was going to be something funny and then it was really sad I have a fiction art are they going to be okay so Is this better than just killing it and attacking for four? Probably, right? She's the toughest dog I've met. She's already home and doing well. They sent her a spleen off for a biopsy. What we're hopeful. Wow, that's awesome. That's great, buddy. I am thrilled about that. Alright, I like it when they tap out, because then I know whatever I do is going to go uncontested. Mama's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mama's little baby loves shortening bread. Gonna push all in front of Dentha. Gonna push. No, that's not what they did. Do 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 Oh, that's a big, that's a big, that's a big, big. That's a big, that's a big, that's a big, big. We have six mana, so we can actually just kill you here. All right, let's, let's do that. Shoot him in the face with a lightning bolt. Mom's little baby loves lightning bolts. Yeah, mom's little baby loves lightning bolts. Shoot him in the face with a lightning bolt. Kerwit will probably definitely do some uh, uncommon draft. Uncommon Cubarino. We want a match, and that's uh, a game. A game, not even a match. I don't want to say a match yet, but how many packs do we have? We just use play points for this, so whatever. We have three more than we should right now. <laughs> Thirteen. All right. So if we go two one here, we end up with fifteen. <laughs> so that's what winning feels like. This deck is very strange. I almost want double snapper to be quite honest with you. I'll keep this hand. Snapper could be the hero we need 
in this deck. Lenore Elf. No. Okay. I think red's good. I just don't think it's... I don't think this deck is great. Creatures annoy me. Okay, well, that's interesting. I don't know if those if those two statements are connected or not. Winning actually is for closers. It's literally for closers. If I could stop drawing lands, that'd be cool. Seven to three is not the ratio I'm looking for, unfortunately. Yep, that is a dude. That is a solid... <laughs> Attack with all, uh, I mean one, JK. That's pretty good. I'm going to play these guys, and next turn we're going to shiv and fire this big dummy. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, well. Now I'll just play this guy because if they're not gonna, if they're not gonna bash with this guy, then that's just fine. We can keep up Shiv and Fire to kill this guy if we need to. Probably don't want to do that. Mama's little cloud reader sphinx love shot and ma they have one card in hand. Let's see what they do. I think this is a safe on Sarah's wings turn because then we just attack and then they have a three four. One on the bottom, one on the top. All right. All right. Cross the fingeals. Boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, 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 boom. I don't even know what song that is. Don't do it. Why would you do such a thing to me? I have an invoke in my deck, and that's actually we can bounce this on Sarah's wings, which is pretty sweet. Guardians of Coilos, OP. Okay, they're not OP, but they're pretty powerful. They're pretty P. They're regular P, right? Give me back my wings. We could also bounce the Cyclops because it has, uh, because it's a, uh, a legendary gentleman. However, ain't nobody got time for that. Mom's little baby love short and brood. Alright. Okay. God, the cringe is so strong when you when you're gonna equip this thing to a guy. You're like, oh god, is it okay? Oh no. And then you just get really scared. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> oh, you, don't you see? I had double uh, double deep freeze all along. Well, there's a certain awkwardness right now that I'm feeling. It's okay, we still have an invoke. We can still invoke. T 
Two arms, men. You counter this? You got single paid? Nah, you don't got single paid. Yeah, that's not a thing we care about. I mean, they have eight mana, so they could have actually played... If they had Wild Onslaught, they could easily play it. This Fat Daddy. Fat Daddy. I'm pretty sure next time we're going to fire intervention this stupid Bailoff Gorger, because... Here we go. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, Jesus. It's like I'm watching a Sunkiss come That's my goal. Pretty soon those Sunkiss sponsorships will start rolling in. You just wait. All right, no cards in hand. This is not going as well as we'd like it to. Ah, oh, trample too, huh? Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, it's just such a fantastic. Can we just draw another on Sarah's wings? I'd feel good about that. We have like three turns now to draw either invoke or on Sarah's wings. I see. I'm not gonna block with my turtle because I really love my turtle. So I'll block with this guy and if you wanna kill it, go for it. If you have gift of growth, knock yourself out. Oh, you didn't have it. Fascinating. Yeah, one card. Let's see what it is. Joke's on you. It's Wild Onslaught. Oh. Yep, that is more than fine. Yep. Eyelashes are weird, man. Yep. They're at 10, so if they want to like keep throwing their dudes in front of us, we can win that race. We also have a ton of chumpies. Chumperinos. All right, so yes, yes, fine, deal. Everything's good. Top tech wild onslaught? Oh, just a, oh, all right, that's fine. Sure. Mama's little baby loves shotting and shotting. I feel like we're in better shape now. If you want to attack with Multani, I'll take it. Bring it. Red Rover, Red Rover, send Multani on over. Well, we don't have good attacks here. So uh, we'll pass. 
I'm going to equip here because we're probably going to block with this guy first if they ever attack. It does leave us open to like Vicious Offering if they draw it, but whatever. Remember that time this guy had uh, Flight, but this guy had Reach? Me too. Well, Tani's going to be like 13-13 soon, and they're going to fling him at our face. Block here. Block here. They take three, four, five, six. They take one more. Block here, block here. They take three, four, five, six. Not there yet. If we put this on you, they go block four five no they probably go block here block here right and then they take four five six seven <sighs> yeah i guess they have no incentive not to kick it when they can just bring back multani replay a land replay multani yeah that's fair Jack of all trade. That's awesome to hear, man. I'm glad you like it. It's it's one of my favorite. It's literally my favorite Final Fantasy game. Uh, I don't think anything has come close to it. And uh, you can probably, I think you can get it on. The, I I know you can get it on in the App Store on like for like iPad. I had it for iPad for a while. I still do, which is pretty sweet. Red Rover, Red Rover, send Multani on over. FF6 is the best one ever. The characters are amazing. The story is amazing. It's just very, very good. Oh, God. Here we go. Well, that's less than ideal, but... This is 12 lands. We've drawn 12 lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen spells. It's a little higher than I'd like, but it's not unreasonable, I guess. aggressive I'll take four here <gasps> wow not only do we gain four life oh this guy has reach though uh, actually I think that's still good because everyone else gets to attack right Do they have a counter spell? You're going to syncopate. You drew a syncopate. And I don't have enough. I didn't play a land, so... You're going to be able to syncopate me out? I'm going to cry. I didn't put them on syncopate because it seems super random. I mean, we wouldn't have enough mana anyway. They could... They could this is 8. They would have had 10, so... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. They would have just paid one more. And if we had the other land, they would have just paid one more. So we don't actually have enough lands in our hand. Oh, it's got reach. I can't even get through just because that's so stupid, dude. It's block. They can only kill one guy, right? So do we trade a turtle for this? They block our two biggest guys. They take four. They go to five. That lets Wizard's Lightning be live. And they can only kill one creature here. Mythics are fun. You're right.
this is fine. Like they'll just block Multani. They'll block. They'll block our turtle. Our turtle isn't really out anyway because we have because uh, they have reach. So even on Sarah's wings doesn't really do anything. But we gain two life here. We have infinite blockers, and they go to five, which means Wizard's Lightning is live. And also, if they don't have a blocker, we have two damage, two extra damage. So we actually just can just kill them. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good draw. Wizard's Lightning off the top one time. That's a Plains. And that is worse. Actually, this still wins, right? Like, we, they take two and then we Wizard's Lightning in their face, right? <laughs> they have no cards. All right, we'll just kill them. Wizard's lightning, shoot you in your face. Sometimes your 12-12 Multani just doesn't get you there. That would have been good, except we don't have any wizards. Yeah, we were drawn pretty pretty poorly after that point. I'm just bringing this other turtle in, man. No joke, turtle's one of the best cards in our deck. <laughs> uh, we can take out... God, this card's mediocre, but like we don't have many two drops is the problem. <sighs> well, I don't blame them for not attacking. Like they couldn't really profitably Like they were at a pretty low life total. We had a pretty wide board, so I don't blame them for not attacking. We're just gonna 41. I don't even care. Two turtles. We're splashing for two cold water snappers. That's where this format is. Mm. I do like run amok, actually. If that's what you meant, I agree with you. I think that's correct. The problem is, like, they had, like, two creatures. So if they trample over, we're going to block with one of our two zero fours that have defender and can't attack anyway. And then we attack with five guys. It just doesn't make sense. They would have died several turns sooner. Yeah, I don't think we can run muck. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? I'm going to keep it just based on these two. I assume we'll draw the cards we need. Why wouldn't we? Every day we're turtle and burn. Da -dum 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 -dum. I attack five guys burgers weekly. That's a that's a that's the correct place to be. I get veggie burgers from five guys all the time. Veggie sandwiches, as they're called. Uh, Fire Elemental is just a big dumb idiot. I don't think he's better than any of our other cards, especially at double red. This is a, a bold keep. I mean, one plane's one, one island. That's all we're looking for. What up, Gabriel? Good seeing you, buddy. Tell Germany I said hi. Okay, double snapper. Wow. Magic is like that friend that's not really your friend, but he's always trying to play pranks on you, and because they play pranks on you, they think they're your friend. But you're really just annoyed with them. You're like... No, dude, it's not funny. You think this is funny, but it's not really that funny. And they're like, but it's good prank. And you're like, no, it's really not. You're kind of just a dick. Oh. And that's the story of Magic the Gathering. You think you're having a good time. Chunk of junk. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. <laughs> Prank says Richard Garfield intended. Yeah, I can get behind that. I'll just take three here. I guess we play Sergeant if we just uh, if we draw the land because once we hit six, we have plenty of things to do. So 
Um, uh, probably killing that guy because he doesn't get bro brocked profitably by sergeant. So, planes, sergeant. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yes, that, yeah, you keep them close because you're like, yeah, but maybe you'll prank them and it'll be funny. And then I'll come out ahead. And then it's all good times. Don't go under there. It's not even raining. You're being a big baby. Yeah, you know what? I'll block. If you want to trade a trick for my sergeant at arms, you knock yourself out. Sure. A charge for my sarge. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Um, I'm probably going to kill the Yavamai Sapper with this guy just because if we can hit Kolar Snapper into Onsara's wings, I think we're in good shape. But maybe not because we're going to draw a card. We have a lot of life gain here, so I'm not too concerned. Actually, we can just actually draw the card and then invoke that guy, which is probably better. I'd rather have the removal in case they play like a flyer that we don't want to risk with our snapper on the wings. Snapper on the wings. Looks like we snapped it. All right. Yep. I will gain four, and I'll take three, so I'll gain one. Gaining four, taking three, that's like gaining one. This is exactly what we wanted to do. This is all we wanted to do in this entire draft, is just put these wings on this turtle. Flying turtles! You guys ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. Well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> oh, well, that was sad. No attack, but no block. Charge number two? That's still, yeah, that does it. Charge number two would do it, which would be really sad. Trading a Yavimaya Sapper and a charge for a cold water snapper, but. I was ready for it. Oh, I see. Sure. <laughs> the double charge deck. Yep, you got it. Oh, that ain't gonna do it against my big, my big snappy. Ye old McSnapperson. On Sarah's wings. I don't even need that anymore. I've literally played all my blue cards. Joke's on you, buddy. Kill it with fire. Quite literally killing it with fire. Now 
I like that a lot because it actually lets us attack profitably without having to worry about something like uh, Gift of Growth pumped. All right. This guy and his friend. <laughs> sure. Okay, so they have Blessed Light and Invoke the Divine in their deck. They are, they are completely ready for our On Sarah's Wing shenanigans. Is it going to be three? All right. Seems good. We'll just play Pizza Girl here. It's fine. Into the coal oven you go. She's putting a pizza in a coal-fired oven. Coal-fired? Coal, coal? Is that what it's called? What do they call it? Coal ovens? I don't know. You are the wind beneath Sarah's wings. I almost want this now just because we know they have ways to deal with it. Um, How do we deal with stupid... Actually, run amok is good for the stupid charge. Ugh. Well, you guys are saying wood fired, but I'm talking about coal, not wood. So they're two completely different materials, are they not? There's coal fired pizza. What are you talking about? There's coal ovens. There's a place right near me called Christino's Coal Oven Pizza. You guys know you cook on the barbecue with coal, right? You guys know how coal works, right? It's a, you know, it's a heating element. Correct. I'm referring to a coal oven. What What else would I be referring to? D yes, of course we're referring to charcoal. We're not... <laughs> what? Oh my god. Okay, we're done here. We're done here. This chat just got real weird. Take out Journey Mage because you suck and I want to bring in Run Amok because you're good. Submit. I think we'll keep this again as well. I really like that you guys thought we were talking about fossil fuels, like actual coal, like locomotives. That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, fascinating. You have a Maya crap herd. I kind of just want to kill this idiot because... Because I'd rather have a 1-1 one -one on board than a 3-2. And if we start playing this Cyclops, I don't feel like having them charging it. Coal fired, coal fired engine. We're going to have tremendous jobs. The job growth is going to be tremendous. 
Oh, Baird. Oh my god, so many snappers, dude. God, I hope there's Peruvian peppers on the pizza. That's all I want. Look at this little cutie. Sweet mushroom. Oh, I see. They're going to be like that. What up, undreamt tuna? <laughs> Clean coal, please. I don't think he knows what that even means. Meh, no tax is fine. We have no ticks. We have fire intervention and invoke in our deck, so I'm not too terrified of icy manipulator here. We're gonna take the coal out and then we're gonna clean it. Yeah, you clean the coal, you just rinse it under some water. It's perfect. What could go wrong? That's how I changed my turtle's filter. She uses carbon, activated carbon, and you have to run the carbon underwater to get the carbon dust off. Same process. I have also been impressed by our consistent draws of the island. If had I known it was this easy, I would have played it sooner. Okay, okay. It's a 1-1, one -one, huh? No wizards yet, eh? Okay, okay. Excuse me. Can I get some lands here? As soon as we play these guys, I don't think they can win. Boom, ba, boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, I almost did it again. I don't even know why. I had no reason to, to almost sing the Two and a Half Men song, but here we are. Can you put the turtle on the stream? Probably not. God, why are you the way that you are? Yeah, the discomfort is real right now. The best part about the, the fluctuation of subs that we've had is that uh, we get to keep celebrating our 300th milestone over and over and over. Sure. You know, just tap this down and attack for a four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems better. But what do I know? I'm just an amateur. Land, please. Red. Ha 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 ha! Well, we're gonna kill this now, so you don't get to do any more shenanigans against us. I don't know if I need that kind of that kind of manly men support, unfortunately. They have two cards in hand. What can they be knocking at my door? If one of them is a charge, this is a terrible block. If they attack, I'm going to assume it's a charge. How's that sound? Does that sound good, Cat Loach? Awkward. I'm just going to untap, keep up Wizard's Lightning, I guess. <gasps> they have one card in hand? We can't attack if we do that, though, unfortunately. Uh, 
It escaped in a nearby three foot grass area. Wow. That dude had to go. You guys understand they have a Baird in play, right? So if we put this on there, we're tapped out and we can't attack. We'd also need to take out a loan for two mana because we have four mana and turtle is six. Literally nothing the chat has said in the past six messages has been accurate. It's very comical. See, this we can do because we either eat a guy or they take three or they just block a bear and we just gain three. So that's fine. As long as we can keep up Wizard's Lightning. We can go block, block, Wizard's Lightning. Oh, actually, never mind. This would have been, this would have cost three. That's correct. I always forget about that ability. It's That ability is very rarely relevant. Yeah, could have cost three. We could have attacked. Um... I still don't know if I want to waste it on not a snapper, though. This is an interesting... So I just... So if you have the charge... Then we're still losing our Danatha. Ugh. If you have charge, this is better. If you have charge... If you, if you don't... If you don't have charge, then this guy's better. Actually, this is better either way because then we're gonna we can lightning bolt. Yeah, all right. Actually, this is worse. I should have I oh I forgot about first strike damage. We just lost our Danatha and got nothing out of it. Actually, no, we can kill this guy. Yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but the alternative was dealing one to. Uh, Yeah, we should have done it before damage. We do one to Baird. Uh, and then we deal the remaining one and two to these guys. Even if they have charge then. Uh, that's pretty good. I'm just going to assume we don't have charge. I don't think you have charge anymore. I think if you had charge, you'd attack with everything. Like, there's no reason to not attack with everything here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, now it all makes sense. There we go. I will not bounce that. I caught a little joke on one of your YouTube videos commenting on it and you commented back. I just want to say that's cool. Real cool. Lama Goy, thank you so much, buddy. It's so funny. Can't you just be in the chat? I always respond in the chat, though. You're like, man, it was so cool to interact with you on YouTube. In addition to Twitch. All right, so they have one card in hand. Wow, seems good. Guess I'll take eight. We do not have Radiant Lightning. So even if we go like chump block here, which we're probably not going to do because it's friggin' terrible. I guess we hope we survive. I really have no idea if we can or not. I mean, we get to go to we get to gain twelve here, so two, four, six, eight, ten, thirteen. I think we'll be. I think we'll be okay. I don't think it's gonna. I think I don't think it's gonna work well. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> like, oh, how lucky I drew an eviscerate. Sergeant at arms into eviscerate. Song of Fraley's into sergeant into eviscerate. What a time to be alive. Even if it's charged, it's still insanely good. Yep. Why would you hold that guy back? I mean, I'm fine with it, but I don't understand it. They're all indestructible. What is happening right now? I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, what just happened? Oh my god, what just happened? What in the hell is going on? How is this real life? What in the earth is going on right now? I mean, that's good, but it actually only gets you to 12. Three, you gain two and two. Um, I'll take 11 here. <laughs> hey, man, be happy to coach you. <laughs> um, I don't know what's happening, but I don't look a gift. Uh, Song of Fraley's missed combat step in the mouth. All right. Well, we got blockers for days. I think we're safe from even a charge. One, two, three, four. We'll take one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we'll just obviously we'll block the smallest ones. This has to be an alpha, right? No, not an alpha. So we have to actually block both of these guys, interestingly enough. Um, block you. So what did you, you like to deal? You have to deal with all 10. So you go five, seven, nine, eleven. You'd sack four guys to get rid of both turtles. Okay, we're just gonna win the game, I guess. All right. Well, on that note, uh, what are you gonna? Wins a win, I guess. I don't know. That was a weird way to win that game, but I did not. Uh, must not know they were indestructible, but it says it right. I mean, yeah, I guess that's fair, but I don't know. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. Links in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.